Hello, beautiful people. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. To the... Welcome to the NCAA, the 2024 NCAA Women's Lacrosse Selection Show. I know Northwestern is going to buy whatever that is. Welcome. Welcome to 2024 Women's Lacrosse Championship Selection Special. It feels great for me to be back in Philadelphia. This is just like the other sports, like football, basketball. We'll keep it rolling as we go back to our bracket. Loyola, the Greyhounds, and a bit of a surprise here because we thought maybe they'd be one of the top Welcome, welcome. Seeds. Instead, they're unseated. Unexpected to see them. Y'all miss me? The yeah, we did. They have Chase Boyle, the do it all midfielder who has 80 goals to her name and 192 draw controls. Potentially a Tawaraton finalist candidate. And you see the reaction. Not an epic celebration because I think they're thinking we're happy to be in, but boy, we'd love one of those eight seeds. So who will Loyola be facing? We go back to the bracket. The Duke Blue Devils in. They were a bubble team. Weren't sure if we would see Duke or not, but the selection committee puts the Blue Devils in. A big surprise, and I think for sure the selection committee really valued the win they had over Virginia. The RPI was not as great, but they had a good strength to schedule, and there's got to be a lot of smiles down in Durham. When we look here, Katie D. Simone has done it all. She suffered a little injury a few weeks ago, but when she is at full strength, she's an excellent goal scorer. They're only going to be making their 22nd NCAA tournament appearance. So the ACC puts in Duke. And the Richmond Spiders, another automatic qualifier. Charlotte, the Spiders... Back to back years, they've made the NCAA tournament. Second straight A10 championship, avenging their loss in the regular season to UMass. Credit to Ann Harrington and staff put together an unbelievable season following up their A10 championship last year. And the eight seed Penn Quakers out of the Penn Ivy Quakers. Richmond in the first round. They've got to be thrilled with the eight seed. Yep, University of Pennsylvania. We'll go to the uh, to the NCAA tournament. Lost earlier today in the Ivy League championship in double overtime. Yeah, that was one of the games we were talking about. That was so epic. And you know, Charlotte, they really earned that number eight seed because not only did they play in a tough Ivy League, but they've got some great non-conference wins as well. Two of the biggest wins on their resume, Loyola and Maryland, and that is why they have earned that seeded position to host. So seven teams have been revealed, Sheehan. What stands out so far? I think really it was the Duke being included. And I think just their strength of schedule is really what set them apart. Just you, with the selection committee, they had to value a lot of different factors. RPI is huge, and we didn't know if that was going to be the driving factor. So if you're going by RPI, they probably were going to be left out. But instead, they wow. get included in. And I think the quality wins is what the, sets them apart. And their win against 